Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. So today I am here with rapid fire question 7. That is, what is oval hypothesis and its significance? And this is rapid fire question series for PhD entrance exams and interviews. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So basically, Obel hypothesis states that the third base in an mRNA codon can undergo non-Watson Creek base pairing with the first base of a tRNA anticodon. Okay, so let's see this picture. So here this is the mRNA and this is the tRNA. And base numbering will be starting from 5 prime end. So this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. In tRNA also, the base numbering will be starting from 5 prime end. So this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Now you can see in this picture that the third base in an mRNA codon. So that is G. It is undergoing non-Watson Creek base pairing with the first base of a tRNA anticodon. So first base of tRNA anticodon is U. So G is pairing with U. That is unusual, right? That is non-Watson Creek base pairing because generally U base pairs with A or G base pairs with C. But here U is base pairing with G that is the unusual or non-Watson Creek base pairing. The mRNA codon's first two base pair, bases pair with complementary bases on the tRNA anticodon second and third bases in the usual Watson Creek manner. So you can see that the mRNA's first two bases that means G and C. So these two bases, they are base pairing with complementary bases that is the usual bases, usual base pairing. Those are on the tRNA anticodons, second and third bases that means G and C. So here you can see that G is base pairing with C and here C is base pairing with G. So these two are usual base pairing or you can say Watson Creek base pairing. Example, if U is at the first position in the anticodon. So here this is the first position in the anticodon. Here is the U. It can base pair with A or G at the third position in the codon. So here it is base pairing with A. So that is usual base pairing. And U also can base pair with G. That is the unusual base pairing. So this is the Obel hypothesis. Now the importance of Obel hypothesis is that cell does not require to synthesize a different tRNA for each of the 61 codons. So we know that in our cell 61 codons are there. 61 codons are there but in our cell 61 tRNA are not there, right? So one tRNA molecule can bind to more than one codon due to less precise base pairs or you can say non-Watson Creek base pair that can arise between the third base of the codon and first base of the anticodon. So here we can see that the tRNA has CGU. Here also you can say CGU. So this is single tRNA. Single tRNA here is this CGU. And the mRNA is containing GCA codon here and GCG codon here. So these two codons are different because of this base. Because of the third base, these two mRNA codons are different. But here we have only single tRNA. So this is the significance of oval hypothesis.